What's up everybody, welcome back to another Comically Boston. Today we got an exciting episode, back on another Monday. We're going to be talking about some Marvel, some Star Wars, some House of the Dragon. So we got tons of stuff to talk about, so we're going to jump right into it. And Marvel, and well, technically Sony, announced that Spider-Man is back. All eight live action movies return to the big screen. I don't know if this is going to be in all theaters. It says only in select theaters. So, you know, if you have a theater near you and you want to go see the OG Toby Spider-Man movies, uh, Andrew Spider-Man movies, Tom Holland Spider-Man movies, and you didn't get a chance to ever watch them in theaters... This is your chance, you know, starting April 15th and going till June 3rd is when the final one goes. But hey, I've never, I was too young to have seen Toby's Spider-Man movies, at least the first two, I want to say, in theaters. So maybe that would be a cool experience to, you know, finally get to see those in theaters. Like I was too young to see Phantom Menace in, in theaters. And Star Wars has also announced that they're doing, like, a Star Wars May 4th, wa like, you can watch a marathon of these movies and watch all nine Star Wars movies, I believe there is. Yeah, because there's the original three. Yeah, I think there's nine currently, if you're not including Rogue One and you're not including um, Solo, and I think that's it for movies, but... There is some new Star Wars movies being made right now, so that's exciting stuff. I got my Wookiee shirt on right now. Uh, Bad Batch is currently out, and we're going to be talking about the Acolyte towards the end of this video. Stick around for that. That's going to be my main topic of today. But a lot of trailers, a lot of posters, a lot of things got announced last week. I don't know why last week was trailer week, but it was. Uh, there was a trailer for this video game called 1943, The Rise of Hydra. And that's going to be that Captain America... Black Panther video game that we were talking about like a year ago, but now we're finally seeing footage and like I thought this game was real, but I didn't think it was going to actually be coming out. Now it seems like this game might actually be coming out and it actually looks pretty damn good. The actor, the 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 motion capture artist that they got to do the two, you know what I mean, the two roles of Captain America and Black Panther, both look really good. Um the little cutscenes that I saw looked so like the graphics looked really really good and I was thoroughly impressed and I'm like okay so this game's gonna be set in 1943 we're gonna get to play as Cap we're gonna get to play as Black Panther and then there's also the what looks like American Army guy and then maybe a uh what is Dora Milaje like one of those ladies that are in the command of the king for Wakanda here's an action shot on the bridge with Black Panther in his suit. They also were, I, I watched like a tech demonstration and the the tech is super cool. It was all running in real time on Unreal Engine and they were able to adjust the time of day, the lighting conditions, the amount of snow, if they wanted to dial it up, dial it back. Uh, they were also able to just real quick go, okay, we want Black Panther with mask off, mask on, you know, and just do shit like that. I was like, it's pretty impressive how far shit has really come. And that game, to me, looks like it's going to be a ton of fun. But posters, um, I'm not going to go through each of the trailers because, you know, that would be a lot of trailers from last week. But one of them was for Furiosa, coming out May 24th of this year, starring Anya Taylor-Joy and Chris Hemsworth. That one, I'm not a huge Mad Max guy, but Fury Road I did like. The visuals in Fury Road were pretty unbelievable but the whole like immortal joe thing like i don't like him i don't like him at all you know like i, I don't have any interest in him tom hardy as mad max was kind of cool but this is supposed to be her story and charlie theron was the furiosa in that one so this is like a prequel to that and how furiosa lost her arm and becomes furiosa and it's got me interested enough, you know, like, the trailer looks pretty good, so May 24th, I'll have to go check that out. Part 2 of Rebel Moon, The Scar Giver, is coming to Netflix April 19th, that's pretty cool. Uh, the first part I was a fan of, but not too much of a fan of, I, I enjoyed it, but I also, you know, didn't like that they were, like, talking about, oh, there's an extended cut, and a gory cut, and this cut, and we haven't seen any of those cuts, and those are the cuts I want to see of this movie, so I honestly don't know if I will watch part two, I might wait until they come out on the, the, 
you know, director's cut or the extended cut or the not rated cut or whatever they're going to call it, the R rated cut. I I'm wait I might be waiting for that, but I did watch part 1, so I'll probably end up watching part 2, but from the recent things that Zack Snyder said, I'm even less of a fan than I already was. Alien Romulus had a trailer that came out and that looks rather good as well. I'm not a, a huge alien guy, I'm more of the predator guy, and I just finished all of the Alien vs Predator movies in in my Alien vs Predator rewatch. So I just got all the way caught up to 2022's Prey, and now they announced another Alien movie. So I'm like, God damn it! So now I'm gonna have to go in August and continue this rewatch because now I've watched all of them. I might as well watch this one too, even though I'm not a big Alien person. Um, I like Aliens, but not the Alien franchise. You know, like these Xenomorphs, I'm not a big fan of. You know, I'm much more of a Predator guy. Uh, with that being said, I watched Prey recently, and there will be a, a review coming to the channel of Prey. And I'll to be talking all about that, and that's a pretty damn good movie. I, I really enjoyed that. But in other news, we have also found that June is adding more to the release date. You know, we we knew that we were getting The Bear Season 3. We're also getting The Boys. And then we're also getting House of the Dragon, summer of 2024. I believe that comes out early June or mid-June. But they released two trailers, one green trailer following Alice in Hightower and Aegon the, and her king and the greens. And it's also the black trailer following Rhaenyra Targaryen and her side of the family with Daemon and the Targaryen side. Even though I think the greens are also Targaryens, but they're also Hightowers, which is, fuck the Hightowers. Um, but some of the images from that those trailers were really inside exciting stuff but they were also i liked how they did it it was two different trailers so if you didn't ever watch one of them you know what i mean you only got half of the side of what to expect you know what i mean but matt smith as damon targaryen was definitely my favorite character from the first season so seeing him come back in season two and more dragons and stuff like that are gonna be awesome uh Aemond or aegon targaryen the false king here I don't like him at all. He can definitely die. I don't know if he will, but I want him to. Uh, Rhaenyra, I want her and these boys to be winning this battle and carrying on. But from the spoilers that I know, I'm pretty sure from Game of Thrones that she doesn't end up having such a good time. Uh, <laughs> doesn't, but that's how the Game of Thrones world is. George R. R. Martin doesn't give you what you want. He gives you what the world would give you, you know what I mean? Like, he, he doesn't give you just like, oh, the fans would love if she won and it would be a happy ending. There's no happy endings in this universe. It's all chaos and tragic and, you know, shit just happens. But it looks like we're gonna be getting a rainy night and this is, I believe, Caraxes, Damon's dragon with the big long neck. So, I'm, I'm excited to see him. Vagar was really cool. Um, there was also another trailer, there was a trailer, there was a bunch of trailers, man, like, there was a trailer for Fall Guy, uh, Ryan Gosling's new movie, Emily Blunt, there was also a badass trailer for the movie, or uh, the TV show coming to Max called The Penguin, starring Colin Farrell as The Penguin, continuing The Batman, Matt Reeves' Batman, and Robin Pattinson, continuing that universe, but now in, like, a TV MA R-rated type of show on HBO, which looks to be pretty badass and like it's going to deliver. Now, I don't expect Bruce Wayne or Batman in this, but from what I've heard, it's going to be eight episodes and it's going to be a violent story of how Oswald Cobblepot ends up the top of the food chain because he has to do some tragic trifling shit. But this image here is the only image that I really saw getting floated around and it's uh, supposed to be Salvatore Moroni squaring off with Oswald Cobblepot here. Hey, the name's Oz, you know. But Clancy Brown is playing Salvatore Moroni, and I love Clancy Brown's voice. So the fact that they got him to play Moroni, and then they got uh, John Totoro to play Falcone, I really wish we ever we got to see them square off, but Falcone's dead from the Batman movie, so... Now you get to see these two square off, and I'm still, I'm all about it, because Colin Farrell's accent and the fat suit as the penguin, he just really, like, 
settled in and, and really got into this character and you can tell and it's fucking awesome but to close out the show let's talk about the acolyte and the trailer that was released for that and that will be coming in june as well i'm super excited for this one june 4th is going to be the release date here's an image of a lightsaber with a blood streak instead of a lightsaber emitting crystal blade it, and it says in an age of light a darkness will rise right so this is supposed to be uh, like way way like a hundred years before phantom menace right so before episode one of of star wars before darth maul before palpatine right so this could show the the rise of palpatine how palpatine became palpatine i don't know or it could just show that the Jedi were naive in a time where they thought everything was peaceful and the whole galaxy was peaceful. There was actually Sith right underneath their noses plotting against them. And the Sith are uh, only ever two, you know, a master and apprentice. So, like, it, it's easily to, easy to conceal two people. It's not easy to conceal a whole army. But when you have an army of two and you're wiping out people and doing your own shysty plans in the shadows... I guess you can get away with it sometimes, and I'm super interested to see where this goes. But this is a report from Discussing Film talking about the uh, plot thesis, I think, of the show. And it says, Star Wars Acolyte follows an, an, an investigation into a crime spree that pits a respected Jedi Master, Lee Jung Jae, the man from Squid Games, he's going to be the lead in this show, I believe, against a dangerous warrior from her his past, Amanda Steddenberg. And she, I don't know where she's from, but she looks awfully familiar, but she's going to be like the Sith bad person, I guess, in this. Maybe the apprentice of whoever her master is. But as clues emerge, they travel down a dark path where sinister forces reveal all is not what it seems. Right, so this show just seems like a giant mystery. Here's another poster that they released uh, after the trailer, and it looks kind of almost like they're on Tatooine there, which I really hope they're not. I don't want them to go to Tatooine again. We've done enough on Tatooine. Let's see some other planets. Go back to Kashyyyk, would you? Speaking of Kashyyyk, we have a Wookiee with a like little top knot shaved type of head, but like has like a little pony on top. This is a Jedi Master Wookiee, which is fucking awesome. You know, like, we all love Chewbacca, we all love the Wookiees, and we've always wanted to see a Wookiee wielding lightsaber being badass. Now, this isn't Gunji that we know from, like, the animated Star Wars TV show. That was a young Wookiee. This is a master, fully fledged, fully fledged, grown master Wookiee, which I am all about. But we see Lee Jung Jae walking through, I believe this is the Coruscant training room in... He and he's training younglings. You can see a bunch of alien creatures in there, and just a lot of girls in there. Uh, but uh, it's a lot of Jedi in training in that room. And then we also are going to get Carrie Ann Moss from Matrix Trinity herself. She's in this show, and she's doing like some badass, like action, like deflecting with the force, like not fighting with a blade. We really only saw her fighting using like force pushes and stuff like that, but. I'm excited for the show, mostly because I don't know what to expect and I don't know where it's going. And they just have a chance to tell an entire story that's not connected to anything else. I think that's really cool. Um, but there was like a little shot at the end of the trailer where there's a red lightsaber flying through the trees. And I gotta know, what, what or who through that red lightsaber like is it just amanda stenberg or is it like a different person that we're gonna have to know and like maybe it's a mall or something like that or maybe it's like darth revan or something or maybe palpatine you know whatever it, it's so much I, I wonder if it's gonna connect i wonder if it won't but either way it seems like it's gonna be fucking crazy and i'm into it so come below what are your thoughts on acolyte and all those shows that are coming out in june what do you think of that 1943 captain america black panther video game I'm super excited for it. I hope you guys are too. Please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, you can send me an email, comicallyboston at gmail.com. We could talk more about this. Ask any personal questions you want to ask me. Or if you have any uh, fan mail or any thoughts or anything I can do to improve this show, please send those down in the comment section below. It goes a long way and I appreciate it. And uh, if you want to support me, please like this video. Watch it from beginning to end. Share it with a buddy. Even if you don't share it with a buddy, hit the share copy link. That does it just fine enough um 
but I appreciate anyone that has made it this far in the video. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Stay tuned for some movie reviews coming out this week. All right? Peace.